What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another search engine optimization tip video. In today's tip video, I'll be going over meta directive tags, and more specifically no index or no follow tags, and how they impact SEO and when to use them on your website. So meta directives provide guidance to search engines about how to crawl and index information on a particular website that they discover. So when search engine bots find these instructions, Meta directives act as solid suggestions on how to index or crawl those pages. No index and no follow tags are two of the more commonly used directives that many websites employ. No index tags basically tell search engines to not index a web page and not include them on the search engine results pages. Whereas with no follow tags, these directives tell search engine spiders to not follow the links on a web page that are marked with no follow tags. So basically it advises search engines how to crawl a website and what pages should be indexed to help preserve what is known as crawl budget. So some instances in which you would want to use no index or no follow meta tags. The first is with product pages or more specifically individual product listings. This is a common issue on many e-commerce websites that have hundreds of thousands or even millions of product pages that list their specific inventory. So as an example, I pulled up Macy's and you can see here that they have this individual listing for a diamond bezel pendant necklace. However, there are instances in which these individual product listings aren't valuable from a search engine optimization perspective, or they don't have any ranking value. And if you have, again, millions of these pages, it can cause bloat. Because Google and Bing and other search engines only have a limited amount of resources to crawl a website. So after it crawls a set number of pages, it'll just stop crawling the rest of the website. It doesn't crawl every single web page on the site. And this is an issue if you're trying to get priority or valuable pages discovered and indexed, but aren't able to because of how many pages you have on your website, if they factor into the hundreds of thousands or millions. So a solution to this is to no index, no follow those non-valuable pages or those individual products to help direct Google or Bing to crawl like your inventory listing category pages or any other priority pages that you want discovered and indexed. Speaking of categories, another one is uh, category tag pages on WordPress. So by default, WordPress will create category pages listing all articles that you use um, tags that you set within the CMS. However, category tag pages provide little value to users or search engines, especially if you have actual categories in place for your website. So it's best to no index, no follow these types of pages. You also want to no index any admin or login pages, as well as thank you pages. And you also want to no index your internal search results if you have a search engine for your website. This is one of the last places that Google wants to drive visitors. And the issue with internal search results is that they create unique pages with every query a user enters into your internal search engine, which again harms your website's crawl budget and can prevent important pages from being discovered. So as a quick example, we can just use Macy's here. So. Let's say I just type in gibberish, right? This will create a unique URL that again can be discovered and crawled by Google if you don't have a no index tag in place. So you want to make sure that directive is included on the page. As far as best practices for including no index or no follow tags on your website, here are a couple tips. So first, and this is a pretty easy one, is to not include no index tags on priority pages. 
Because again, if they're included on those pages, they want to rank on Google. You also don't want to use no index tags in your robot.txt files. So this is a common practice years ago for webmasters to include this directive to no index or no follow certain web pages or categories within the robots.txt. But back in 2019, Google announced that this isn't a standard practice anymore and that they're not following this directive or no index directives found in the robots.txt file. So what you want to do instead of including it in the robots.txt is to include it in your page headers. So adding this directive as an HTML element in the head section of your page or just before the body section to ensure that the directive is read and followed by search crawlers. So again, if you take a look at Macy's, waiting for the view source to load, it'll be somewhere in this section of the web page. So before this body class script, but within the head script up here. Let's say you want to nofollow individual links on your web page and not just nofollow the entire web page itself. You can set a rel attribute as HTML. So if you have like paid content or sponsored links on your website that you don't want to pass equity to, then you can include nofollow tags there on an individual link level on the page. And then the last note I want to make is that after a period of time has passed for a web page that has a no index tag directive implemented, Google will eventually stop crawling that page, treating it as a nofollow in its archive to preserve its crawl budget. So just something to be keep or to keep mindful of as you're implementing no index tags and nofollow tags. Anyway, hopefully you found this tip video to be helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next search engine optimization tip video.